What's going on guys? Pre Raptor here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day slash night. Today we're gonna talk about Tekken 8 or Season 4. Right? So we're gonna talk about what is the difference of having Tekken 8 or what is the difference of having Tekken 7 Season 4 for this Tekken World Tour? Well, hoping that we get a Tekken World Tour that uh, because of the coronavirus and everything that has been going up lately, which is insane. People are running like crazy people uh, clearing out stores taking out toilet papers wash your asses that's, what, that's all i'm going to say uh, you do realize that you do not have to entirely depend on toilet papers right which is really bad for the environment by the way anyways uh getting back to the topic at hand uh hope you guys are well hope you guys are keeping clean wash your hands man you dirty filthy animals and yeah what is going to happen for the tekken world tour are they going to reveal a tekken 8 or are they going to reveal Tekken 7 season 4 so tekken 8 here's what i've been thinking if they reveal tekken 8 during the season four time, right? If they if they happen to reveal it for like, oh look, we're gonna we're not gonna have season four. We're just gonna give you new guys, you guys, a new game. Uh, well, the thing about that is, Tekken World Tour has always been living up to the matches, like what, like of course the matches and the announcements that happen at major events like Tekken World Tour, uh, Evo Japan, or Evo 2020, or whatever Evo or uh, CEO like that. So. See the thing about having Tekken 8 game now that if they reveal it at these at any of these events, it's yeah it's it's gonna hype up a lot of fans that oh look we're gonna have a new game, new mechanics, new story, new features and stuff like that. But is it worth it in the long run to keep the fans engaged or if the fans satisfied? I don't think so, right? So Tekken 8 being a new game especially people are not people are not going to pick up the game for the tournament they're not going to continue Tekken 8 for the rest of the tournament they're not going to release it as soon as possible and that's eventually going to die down because it's just a new game right but the advantages of having a season 4 now if if they have a season 4 they can continue bringing out content like they can keep their uh, fans engaged in in aspects of new characters new stages new uh, features and stuff like that so yeah so basically these these aspects of season 4 or any any season or whatever they announce like they have done in the past few years announcing season 2 season 3 keep kept the people engaged in the, uh, in, in the tournaments and such so people keep on coming back to see oh what are they gonna reveal like are they gonna reveal a new character what are they gonna show the new gameplay and such like that so that shadow in the background being shadow as always and yeah that's that's my thoughts on why they shouldn't bring uh, bring back or announce a new Tekken 8 game if they if they did have to announce a Tekken 8 game they would have they would have to announce it at like uh, E3 which is supposedly cancelled because of the coronavirus again but I think I heard that they're gonna have it based digitally like they're gonna have it live streamed or something like that if that's the case then that's way convenient but that's a story for another time what I'm saying is Tekken 8 being revealed at major events is a plus because it's a new game and people are going to be hyped about it but the hype is not going to live up long enough for people to get uh, hooked into right so season 4 on the other hand would be a great thing season 4 could be a major thing for uh, Tekken World Tour to keep throughout the year to keep the fans engaged so there's there's one thing that on my videos I made about Christy, right? Uh, we, we're done talking about Tekken 4 Season 4. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys think that there should be a Tekken 8 or Tekken 7 Season 4. But uh, on a side note, there's been talk about Christy. Um, I've been I made a video on my channel about Christy being back in Tekken 7 with the new moveset and such. People, so people have commented on the video saying that, no, we need Christy back. We need our girl back. Bring back Christy. Christy deserves to be in the channel. But Yes, what I've been saying to everyone that's been commenting or been replying to the people saying that if they had to bring back Christy, bring back Christy in a way that she is not the stoop of Eddie, right? Do not make her the same as that would be a waste of space, waste of time. Nobody wants that. It would be just like another Kuma, Kuma, but at least Kuma and Panda have the same slot. But yeah, if you bring back Christy, bring back Christy in a way that her moves are completely revamped. She has a different martial arts style. And, <coughs> excuse me i'm not <coughs> no no I'm not, I'm not infected um <coughs> yeah so bring back christy in a way that her move is completely uh, reset different completely uh 
um, a complete different martial arts style and that would make a lot of people happy but bringing her back in a way that she is the same exact same way to Eddie but that would be like that would be I wouldn't say it's lazy but kind of is uh, but bring back bring her back in a way that she is completely different that's all I gotta say so I'm gonna make a video about Kunamitsu as well because I really want Kunamitsu to be in Tekken 7 season 4 I'm gonna make a video about this so stay tuned for that guys but that's all I have to say for this video on regarding such a topic so if you guys um have any suggestions if you guys have any, uh, what do you guys think about the current predicament of Tekken World Tour let me know in the situation <laughs> let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video that being said you guys are awesome stay safe peace Legends never die.